Get out my um, Periscope. They don't want to see you. Yeah, nigga, I'm all in them DMs. Like. They don't. They don't like you on Periscope. I don't give a fuck. They, they don't like. <laughs> Hi, they know you because of me. It doesn't matter. They don't like you. You are me, so if they love you. They love me. Give a fuck. They can say whatever they want to say. They can hate me to, to the day I, I rest. As long as they love you, I'm good. Fuck it. You hear what they saying? I don't care what the fuck they saying. Like, <laughs> I, I never care. Like, who cares? The fuck? These niggas don't even know what love is. Like I said, all the women hate. Well, any woman, you gotta be a whole bitch. Only real woman respect a man when he, he is correcting himself. Y'all mad because y'all nigga didn't fight for y'all? You not worth it. What the fuck? You mad? You trying to make Tammy be like y'all lonely? Same bitches always got something to say about somebody else's relationship. Girl, you should leave him, girl. Bitch laying in here playing with her own hair. <laughs> Waka, don't bug your eyes out like that. Stop cooning. No, let me stop being silly. Damn, ladies, ladies, ladies. He said a lot in that less than a minute. Let me let me read to you. Now, first of all, he posted this video up on Simstagram. And he said the following in the comments. He said, vibes, hashtag caught myself before I lost myself. Hashtag RNS at the flockers. But here's the deal, man. <sighs> he said, you are me. If they love you, they love me. Damn. I see how he got that fine ass team in Rivera now. Waka has major game. EA Sports. He's in the game. Oh, shit. That shit made my motherfucking panties wet. And I don't even wear drawers anymore, Jesus. But anyways, that's none of your business. I was like, damn. Where can I find me a woman that'll say some shit like that to me? Do you know what the fuck I would do? Shit, I fucking start lactating. Out my balls and dirt. That's some crazy shit, Jesus. You are me. If they love you. They love me. Baby. Oh, crazy game. This ninja could talk the panties off of a mannequin. But anyways, he said that all of the women hating are hoes, bitches, not worth it, lonely, and playing with their own hair. Damn, Waka. Why did you go as far as saying that the hair isn't even theirs? I mean, he listen, he went in balls deep and started tap dancing in it. I noticed some bald-headed cold-headed ice cube headed ass heifer was highly upset i noticed somebody had to slit her clit yes not slit her wrist somebody had to just fucking cut her clit off she was so mad somebody cut off their clit despite their puss because you can't just hear something like that as a bald-headed cold-headed ninja turtle looking heifer and not feel some type of way about that i mean it had to hurt somebody's feelings and Tammy's just sitting up there just looking up to the sky while getting her makeup done. Somebody as pretty as her that without makeup on shuts shit down is daring to put makeup on. That's overkill. That's like you see an ant and you're like, I'm going to kill that ant. And then you pull a nuke out your pocket. That's just overkill. That's just overdoing it. Tammy's already a dime with a fresh face. Then you put makeup on her. You're just trying to corrupt souls. But anyways, enough about how pretty Tammy is. That's not what this video is about. This video is about Waka's comments. I mean, he went the Waka flock of flock off. Damn, Waka. You said these, these girls are bitches and whores. That's offensive. My Lord. Oh, shit. I need a holy water bath after that. Damn. I was not ready. I mean, I turned the video on. I was like, huh, what's this about, you know? This is a little clip from when Waka confronted Tammy and let her know that he really wants her back and popped up as she was getting her makeup done and whatnot. And then, whoo, he let you have his habit. I stay up out of the comment section if I were you because he's not playing. He's using the wrath of the Lord to smite you rats down. And when I say rats, I mean random ass thoughts. How dare you talk shit about Tammy and Waka? They're the best thing that happened to America since America. These are wonderful people right here. Law-abiding, upstanding citizens. Hell, Waka even ran for the presidency, or rather was going to run 
for the presidency of the United States. Waka for predator. I mean, Waka for president. Waka's that dude. And he's like Samson. You see, them dreads have all of the power of humanity up in them. And that's why he'll never cut his dreads. And, you know, and Kel, I mean, Waka is as intense as he is in prolificified from the Nisifified because the dreadlocks have the magnification of the fornication of the fortification in his creation excuse me i mean anybody who loves the reference jesse jackson knows exactly what i'm saying here you you you, you got what out the point i was trying to make but anyways shout out to waka and tammy i think that it sucks that people are all up in their fucking business and i think you heifers with your cold heads need to shut up and go put a hat on it's raining outside and I think that you need to be more respectful of the fact that Tammy loves he. She love he. Not him. She love he. And she's not going anywhere. So get over it. Stop being lonely and playing with your own hair. Your pubic hairs, that is, because you're bald headed. So you must have been talking about your coochie hairs that you were playing with. And your asshole hairs. And your foot hairs. Oh, Bigfoot looking broad sitting up there got the nerve to be upset because she's semi happy. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. One of these days, I got to interview these two separately together. I wouldn't even care. That's my goal for 2016 or even 2017 if I have to wait that long. I got to interview these two, both of them, either together or separately. But anyways, would you listen if I did? And ladies, what do you think about Waka's comments? Were they offensive? I mean, are you really... uh? bitch whore who plays with your hair because you don't have a man to do it are you really that lonely are you really not worth it was that degrading or do you think that he was just sticking up for his wife and saying what he felt that he had to say to make her feel better i have mixed feelings about this waka i don't know if you should have gone that far your female fans are gonna be pissed